Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. This is video six for my Heller 1 100 scale HMS Victory. And uh, I posted the last video, a lot has been going on here since uh, I posted. I've been working on this thing every day, three, four, five hours a day, whatever it takes until I tire out a little bit and, and the, that thing's dry. A lot's going on, as you can see in front of me right here. I got the spar deck completely glued. I used mass tape. I had to close the top of the hole a little bit so it'll be nice and uh, nice and uh, sealed against the against the gunnels of the uh, of the victory, which came up. It was pretty tight fit. I was pretty happy about that. So I I whipped up some five minute of epoxy and brushed on liberally a bead of epoxy on the port and starboard sides of the hull. I set the deck in there, took tape, took this tape here, cut a piece off, wrap across it, making very careful that uh, that all push these cans back. These cans have been installed, but make sure these cans are installed after you uh, take the deck to get until this deck sets. When it's set it up nice and tight, I took the tape off, tight as a jump, that was just how I like it. I went back. Install the cannons on here. I got the cannons on top of the spar deck. Also got the the weather well deck. Stanchion supports installed, painted red. App. I got the structure back here, which is the uh, where the office where sick bay's at, the galley, and uh, other parts of the ship on the, lo on the lower decks. Probably officer staterooms and such. Then I got less. Lastly, I've got the main deck, the weather deck, shelter deck that goes on top of here. And back here, got the poop deck goes on top of here. It'll be a while for that. Next step I gotta do now, I gotta do the rigging. I gotta put all the vein wires, the vein the vein ropes. They gotta be rigged. Inside the hull, hanging out these these, these mainsails and, and, and this four in main and mizzen sail lower yard braces where they pull the sail in. It's down inside the punishment deck, the spar deck. Your rigging goes through inside the bulkhead. It comes up. You got to pull a block on there. That's where it attaches the sail. You got rigging on here. So I got rigging to do. That's got to be hanging over the side. And the rigging will be attached in later chapters of the build as I construct the, the, the mass and onward. So I got to put the rigging inside here. I'm trying to say is make it simple. And uh, they got to be attached there before I start uh, uh, putting on the main deck on there. Main deck has got to be repainted again. And I got to put a wash on it and everything just like it did on the on the um, on the main deck here. Now we'll take the camera over here. We'll take a look at so much I've done. I'll kind of explain. I gotta get up and do this, guys, because this this web camera I got doesn't have a, a control of the lens. Go zoom in and zoom out. I'm that control, so I kind of experimented around by using by using my Vicky right here as a guinea pig. How I could control by by zooming in and looking at pictures of the uh, pictures of the uh, ship, you know, until I get my camera. Hopefully, I should get a new camera next week, guys. I got my Uncle Sam check coming in. A couple other checks got coming in from my my jobs have worked before. Plus, I got my social security check coming in. So, I get about four checks coming in. And they're all coming in next week. And I'm a happy camper. And I can't see why I can't go out and buy myself a new camcorder. And I got to, guys. I just can't uh, use this. This is a good web camera right here for emergency situations like this. I can always mount them in different positions of my makeshift shop I get to in here. And still got a control of my webcam. Okay. I'm going to take a slug of this coffee right here, and we'll take this kind of get up from my, this the captain's chair. I'm going to swing around and be the man behind the camera. I'm going to take a look at the victory, how much I've done, and I'll explain to it behind the, the camera what has been done. And I can still look at the monitor from, from standing out. Okay, boys, here I come. Got the transom all done. You can see 
at this location here where the officer's country at, I got the 12 pound, I got the 24 pounders back there. These are all 12, all uh, 24 pounders. I got more right here that need to be installed, but I can't install these until I get the main deck installed on top of here. I got a nice base right here, as you can see. But I did myself. I put the mahogany. Man, I tell you, I'm all over the place. This camera, guys. There's a piece of wood right there. That's wood that I, I varnish everything as a stand. This whole thing is completely. Uh, Similar to the stand and, and screwed to the stand. The stand is going to kit to give you these. Uh, you got to be able to uh, take screws. You can screw these in because the, the base plates for the whole ship is made has counter sink holes, so you can be able to run your screws to the stand into this board which I made here. I bought this Hobby Lobby, and I sanded it down very carefully with 320 wet dry sandpaper dry, so it's nice and smooth. I gave it a couple coats of, of, of polyurethane. One day I went over and stained it some more. And it's, it's mahogany color. So I'd rather have this thing completely mounted on the base right here than have this thing naked on top of my workbench. Because like I say, I'm constantly moving the hull around. And you're going to grab the hull. And at some point in time, you're going to push those cannons in. They're going to be screwed. So this way, when I need to take the ship, I can take up the whole base and turn the whole ship around and make it easy. transfer came out pretty good. It took me about five, six hours to do all that. I took my time. I got me some small brushes and painted the uh, the back on the transom. So this thing is uh, it's going to get it very slowly, like the way I want it. And I can't see why I cannot get um, 20 video, uh, 40, uh, 40 videos out of this. You can get a better view of the stand now, guys. Here's this other remainder. These are 12 pounders. These 12 pounders go on top of here, top of the main deck. It'll be a long time before I get to those. So I got all the 24 pounders on the spar deck. They're all been eight, uh, epoxied in place. And they're, I got all the ladder ways down below, which goes to the side below the ship. They've been installed. And, um, This thing is uh, it's, it's shaped out pretty good. Like I say, this kit, you got to take your time. You can't go for a foot race or something like this. You got to take your time. When you stop building it, kick back, light yourself a cigarette or cigar. Or pour yourself a martini or a beer or take a cup of coffee, whatever it is. And stand back and just study it and look at it. It's like looking at a blueprint. The further you look at it, the faster you're going to find a mistake that you left in there that's got to be uh, corrected. And I'm constantly gawking at this thing all the time. Not leave my eyes off it, see if there's any paintwork that I left behind that I missed. Or it could be a, could be a, a different color on there by, uh, by a brush mark or something. This thing has been airbrushed and brush painted. Most prettiest thing about the Victory is it's the beautiful stern section, and I got figures back there. They're running there inside my sprues. They got to be applied to. They got to paint those, install those, but that'll be done in later chapters. And, and after I get the spar deck and everything all done, I'm not spar deck, but the weather deck all done on here, even the poop installed. Then I come back and start working on the crescent on the bow, and start putting the seats of ease in there, the gratings of the seats of ease. Then we'll go ahead and put the, the trim board knees around the cut water and start putting all the trim on there and paint the same. And uh, 
get my anchors all rigged up, put them on there. Then I went down there to Hobby Lobby and bought me a bunch of doweling. With the doweling, I went down and used that. I got that behind me over here. I'm going to use that for my yards and also for my top mast. The main, the main masts are okay. Same thing in the bowsprit. It's okay. It's just the, the, the mast, the small part of it. Like I say, you got to chuck it up to a lathe or chuck it up to a drill, drill uh, to a drill, and maybe hands back and forth on it until it's tapered nice. It's all the same. Make sure it's the same size as the, the, the one you're copying, because that's what I'm going to be doing on this. Because, like I say, these things is very fragile. Everything else in here is, is no problem. It's pretty meaty plastic. It's not going to go anywhere and break. But like I said, I mentioned on, on video number five. You got to take special care not to push these cannons back. There's a solution to the problem. If you push that cannon back and it goes all the way through, you can't get it and it falls in there. Take a shutter base that have one open, close it off. It'll look kind of funny a little bit, so how the cannon's sticking out, but it's but it'll 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 fill the gap in for, for that cannon that should be sticking out is missing. So that's why I went ahead and took this. I stained this piece of wood. I got this Hobby Lobby. It's a beautiful piece of wood. You can see how I uh, I, I assemble it to the baseboard. All these screws over here. I got, I got them screwed in there. And I measure. I make sure that everything is centered to this building board here. This was pine. I think I paid $12 for this piece of wood right here. And uh, instead of using polyurethane to make it look normal, I went ahead and used uh, mahogany, mini craft mahogany stain, and I stained it. I worked in the stain that dried 24 hours, came back with a rag and wiped out the excess on there. Then went ahead and uh, used a nice pipe brush and uh, start, start laying down the polyurethane on here, which gives it a very beautiful shine. It's smooth. It's really smooth. It's really smooth. It's about seven coats I did this. Holes have already been pre-drilled on the wood first before I started all this staining and, and treating it with, with polyurethane. That way, when it dries, I just set the model on there and screw it on there. It's all ready to go. So this is the best way, guys. When you get to this stage of construction, it's wise to select a good piece of wood. This here is not as good as it deserves, but it's okay. It's, it looks very pretty. I like it. Make sure this model is secure on a, on a base, because it's not easier to move this without touching the hull at all, than have to grab this hull like this and pick it up and, and take a chance on pushing those cannons in. And your whole day be ruined. I guarantee it will. It happened on the last one I did. It's terrible. It's, 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 there ain't no way you can go on there in those lower gun decks and look and find that cannon and fish it out of there. You gotta be a brain surgeon to do that. So you might as well say screw it, forget about it. Take them shutter bays right there, instead of putting them in an open position, close them. And that'll fill in that void right there. After all, you look at the Rebel one, it's got some cannon sticking out, a lot of the gun bays are closed. So I'm sticking to this guys, this is gonna be a full build. So tonight I gotta do the rigging on here. I gotta put the side rigging. I gotta put the vein braces on there for the sails. They got to be installed. They got to be done before I put that shelter deck on there. Like I said earlier in the video, once once the rigging is done, I can go ahead and start uh, uh, start commencing on the uh, construction and the painting of the uh, of the main deck. Install same, then go back and install these. These 12 powders. British were very good. They kept the heavy guns at the bottom and the lighter guns on top for stability. And it works. See, uh, the Vasa was, was asked backwards. They used their small carronades, the, uh, the cannons they had, put the big jobs on top of the deck, figured that would be a lot more damage. They could put, they could, they could put more damage and put the heavy guns on top there. But... It changed the whole weight displacement and the buoyancy of the hull. And plus, on the Vasa, if anybody's got a model of the Vasa, look at it on the internet or look at it on your model 
And you see at the bottom, see how, how the victory is? It gets big and it bulges out, comes out. The Vasa didn't have that. It came somewhat like this in and bulging out. It just came like this. It just more or less came this way and straight down. So it didn't have very much displacement. It was actually, it was top heavy. That's why that thing turned over. Just think what happened. That thing would have went out there, up, out of that harbor right there, beyond protected harbor. Get out there in the sea. That thing would really turn over. But they benefited and they learned from that. They should have learned from the English. <clears throat> anyway, guys, this is about as far as I got in video six. So tonight I'm going to start working on the rigging on this thing. It'll be live action. So I'll have two videos coming your way. So I'm going to try to get 40 videos out of this. This will be about 40 videos. And I can't see why not. And uh, so I'm at the stage now that I can be able to... Uh, do some rigging on it, get the rigging uh, complete, uh, completed. And start working on the spot, uh, start working on the weather decks, the poop decks. And get them all ready to go. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. Lots of work on this thing. I don't know how many hundreds of parts I want to this thing, but every cannon you see on this thing had seven parts to it. A lot of parts. It's such a beautiful kit. Like I say, the only thing bad about it is it's the kind of plastic they use, you know? And it's a very beautiful kit. It's, it's beautiful. You just got to uh, get around the, the, the bad parts and make it good. That's why you got to take all your masks, all your yards, and make them out of wood dally. And by doing that, you'll save yourself a lot of headaches when that, cause they break. And like I say, it's big. This thing is big. Bigger the model, the clumsier you're going to get. Because you're so used to being around smaller models, you get around something big like this, you got to get up and snap something because it's right there. Now, these masks, they snap like dried twigs. Even breaks. It's brittle. Very best of favor. That's the word I'm trying to express to you. It's resin like. Very brittle. Very brittle. It'll snap on you just looking at it the wrong way. So you got to be very, very, very careful and take your time. Use a very sharp blade. Use a dull blade against those parts. They'll break on you. The hammock rack's going to be substituted by using wire. They gave you two jigs. They gave you a jig for making nets with and making a jig for your shrouds. And what I like about the dead eyes, look at the pre jigged for you. All you got to do is just lash all your combos, your dead eyes, and install them on your channels. So I, I'm also going to put the channels on this thing at night, too. I'm talking about channels. After the rigging's done, I'm going to go ahead and put the channels on there where the chain plates go at and where your crowds go on. So I got a lot of work to do there on that. So it'll probably be about a week on that. So I got a lot of work to do with this thing, guys. As long as I stick to it, it'll come together quite nicely. It's coming together right now. I'm just looking at it. I put a lot of time in this thing. So anybody has got one of these understands the time and the labor is involved to build this thing. The ones I've seen on the internet are very amazing. And they'll stand up any wooden one you got out there. And uh, it was a nice kit. If you got one of these in your stash, you decided if I inspire you guys uh, to build one of these, read the instructions. Read them first before you even assemble the hull together or clean parts or whatever you got to do. Because, like I say, the instructions are very complicated. You got to put your mind into their mind, the ones that designed this kit. And, uh, the more you read on of it, you get a good understanding how this kit goes together. So it's good to read the paragraphs and look at the pictures, guys. So you look at the pictures of this thing, it's gonna it's gonna affect some part later on in the assembly. 
you got to go back. So what the hell did I do wrong? You got to go back. Oh my God, I should have done that. So it's one of those situations. So you got to be careful. You got to go out there and and make sure that the uh, instructions are, are are understood. Okay, guys. Well, bring my face on you since I'm yakking here. So that's about as far as I got on this thing. I got like I got a lot, of, lot to do tonight. And that's Friday. Such a beautiful day God gave us. They say it's supposed to rain, but I don't see it happening. You got a lot of cumulus out there, but no nimbus. I don't see a cumulus nimbus in sight. Nothing but a cumulus cloud. That's all we are. You got a nice some wind that's blowing in pretty good, but it's hard to say. Screwy out here in Ohio. How the weather is out here. Okay, that about does it, guys. I want to get this thing uploaded, get this thing ready to be posted on Facebook, and uh, I'm going to try to squeeze in a, a live action video on this tonight. I'm going to bring my camera. I think I'm going to be able to swing that camera line over here. It'll bring it over here next to me. That about does it. Okay, guys. Uh, that's about the conclusion of video six. So if you if you get this kit, just take your time on it. This thing will go together very. It's, there's hundred twenty fit issues all there is. It. You just got to understand. There's parts of the kit that's missed uh, in the instructions. That's why I say you got to read the instructions. The uh, the first blooper that I found out is a, is in the deck supports that go inside the hull before you put the gun decks on there. They had them misnumbered the wrong way. So my suggestion is take those deck supports, mark them, mark the number on your piece of 3 16th square basswood, cut that part off, take the next one, measure, cut it off, and write on the on the uh, the beam where it goes. And they'll fit. They, they only go on there one way. That's it. They're just mis misnumbered. So don't use the plastic kit supports in this kit. They're no good. They're about as weak as the weakest chain that will, the weakest link on a chain will break. And uh, that'll about do it. And the guns take a long, long time. There's seven pieces to these guns. Each barrel was sanded after I, after I glued them together. And I painted the carriages ochre color and the wheels black. And the cannons were painted black. It was done, I gave this thing another coat of polyurethane. I airbrushed it. So it's more or less like a satin finish. And uh, keep that paint blocked in there. It's about as far as uh, I got right now, guys. So I got rigging to do on this thing. I got a lot of preparation to do before I get that uh, weather deck on there. So uh, that's the conclusion of video six. And I'd like to thank all my wonderful new subscribers out there who subscribed to my channel. I'm very honored, every one of you. And uh, Bruce, I want to get the gorge forts going for you, buddy. I just have been working, didn't have time. I'm too busy working on this thing here. I'm going to try to get a live and action video one day this, this weekend. And they'll bring it out. And while this thing is drying on the stage, I can be able to bring that out and work on that, make a live action job. If you'll like it, and so will everybody else. And uh, so I got that coming your way too, guys. So I got a lot of shit bottles coming your way. So just stay posted. And thank you everybody for your wonderful candor and your wonderful comments on my on my videos and also on my HMS victory. And uh I'm very happy, very pleased, and very honored. I love you guys. You guys are the best in the world. And uh, you guys are a little family to me, like I said before in previous uh, videos. You gave me a lot of support while I was going through some bad winds. And right now, the winds are kind of cheering up because uh, first of the year, I'll be, uh, I'll be graduating from the trailer to a home. And I found some nice houses out here where I live at now. So I was kind of blessed to get kicked out of one door into a door of opportunity. Uh, that's how life works, guys. So you got to pray all the time, keep your dauber up, and be good. 
and don't get don't get stupid or anything like that and cause problems and, and live a good life and good things come your way because God works his miracles to people and uh, you start hurting people like that and betray them do things bad bad things come to you until you get on your knees and ask forgiveness and it'll be a whole different deal from there so be good okay this is Frankie Day signing off with Frankie Day Models Conclusion of video six for the Heller 100 scale H Smith's victory. Lord Nelson's flagship, the Battle of Chevalier. The beautiful ship of the First Raider. The zip for Lord Nelson. Zip for Frankie Day. Make Baba happy. Spend wisely when you drive. Stay focused when you're outside shopping, doing your business, going to work. Be aware of your surroundings. It's getting cold. It's, it's warm today. It must have some kind of uh, post uh, Indian summer taken up. It's 80 degrees outside. It's very warm outside. And uh, I don't feel no cold not coming in. So it's uh, it's going to get cold, guys. you got winter time, so nothing's better than stay home to a nice crackling fire, be with the family, and build a model, and see the cares away. And uh, They'll tell them that's a good thing for everybody. And it works too. Okay. That's Frankie Day signing off, Frankie Day Models. God bless you guys. You guys take care of yourselves. And uh, we'll catch you on video seven, which I'll have for you probably in a couple days. So stay posted for that. So I got work to do tonight on this, uh, on this uh, here victory. So right now I'm going to take a break a little bit, get things ready for preparation and we'll catch you next video this is frankie day signing up with frankie day models god bless you guys